Okay, so this is in the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Syrach, which is in the hidden books of the Bible, which also is known as the Apocrypha, in chapter 35, verses 16 through 20. And as you can see here on the screen, it's written in Old English, okay? So, bear with me with this, brothers and sisters, okay? So, this is verse 16 through 20, and it read, He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Verse 17, The prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds, until it come nigh, which is near, he will not be comforted. Okay, so the humble that's being spoken of here is the meek of the earth, the humbled of the earth, the ones that's teaching the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High, the ones that's trying to encourage and entice our people who are in sin to keep the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High, to come back into believing the one and only true Hamashiach, according to the biblical scripture. Okay, verse 17 again. The prayer of the humble pierce up the clouds until it come nigh, which is near, he will not be comforted and will not depart to the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Verse 18. For the Lord will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient towards them till he have smitten and sunder the loins of the unmerciful and repaid vengeance to the heathen okay so once again who's the heathen those are all of the people that's not the descendants of the 12 tribes of israel all right so he have taken away the multitude of the proud okay who's the proud of the earth that's the people that's basically controlling the earth according to the book of job 9 24 again okay the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So all you got to do is just look around and look and see who's controlling the earth. Who's the proud of the earth, okay? Who sticks his nose up at everyone upon the earth, at all races, and think that he's the number one top head honcho of the world. He's the top race. He's superior to everyone in the world, okay? That's all you got to do. You just got to look around and see, man. Just put one and one together, right? Let's read this again from the middle. And repaid vengeance to the heathen till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the separature of the unrighteous. Verse 19. Till he have rendered to every man according to his deed and to the works of men according to their devices. Okay. What's those devices? I think we pretty much made that pretty much clear throughout this whole entire lesson, right? So he have judged the cause of his people and made them rejoice in his mercy. Verse 20. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought. Okay, so... I'm going to end this there. Hopefully that this video was edifying. Hopefully that it was understandable. Hopefully that it was gratifying. Hopefully that it was enjoyable. Hopefully that it wasn't too long. Once again, this is your brother, Yashara, from the seed souls of Israel and the milk delivers of Israel. Once again, sowing that seed and delivering that milk to all of our people out there, preferably to the so-called descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel, which is today known as the so-called Negroes, Hispanics. Native Americans and Seminole Indians of Negroid descent. Okay. To the next time, love is love. Shalom.